six to seven weeks out from the Olympia. And I gotta say, I'm looking so forward to it. The 50th anniversary of the Olympia. And, um, you know, I'm probably not gonna go watch the show, but I'm super interested on, you know, the placings, the top five. Everyone's talking, and, you know, I have to say, I think Phil Heath is probably gonna, you know, win it again. I think he's got a couple of years. I think he's, you know, ahead of the game. I think he's an incredible athlete. And uh, when I say athlete, people will say, well, Bob is on a sport, you know, which I say, but Phil Heath is an athlete. He played basketball, he's coordinated. And he is a truly an athlete, and um, I think he's a great representative of the sport. Now, uh, Kai Green, let's talk about him. Um, this guy's a beast. He's a beast. You know, he's he's just so massive and has so much thickness to his frame. He's a monster, and um, you know, at any time, you know, he could come in the best that he's ever been. You know, and you never know what's going to happen. Uh, Sean Roden. Sean Roden's a Coolest guy, I see him constantly at Gold's Venice training, talk to him and, um, you know, I gotta put it out there, he's, he's about 20 pounds heavier than he was last year. And, you know, he's, he's put on a lot of size and uh, he can definitely do some damage. He comes in bigger and same conditioning, he, he's definitely a threat. Um, you know, we have Rami, you know, monster legs, this guy's a beast. He's probably the biggest guy on stage. Uh, in my opinion, you know, I think his legs are possibly a little, a little big. I know that's like, doesn't make sense in the bodybuilding world. Like there's no such thing as too big, right? But that's just my opinion. Um, his legs are, I would have to say almost too big to throw off the symmetry. Um, and I don't think he has, you know, the maturity, you know, the graininess that someone that's been working out for, you know, 10 to 15 years would have. Um, so that's a weakness, but you know, that could change, you know, it could change. So I think in the next year or two, he's going to be a serious threat. Dennis James. Dennis James has incredible symmetry. You know, he still has that tight waist. You know, he's got beautiful quads. He's, he looks amazing. And, um, you know, he's definitely a threat too. Now it's, it's crazy to think about places second through sixth. You know, it could go any way. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Phil Heath, I think, is going to take it again this year. He's consistent. He never comes in off. And, uh, you know, I think he's definitely going to take it again. But second through, actually second through 10th is going to be insane. So I'm looking forward to that. Now let's talk about the Expo. The Expo is where I'm going to be. I'm going to have a bigger booth this year. I'm probably going to have, I would say, about 30 athletes hanging around my booth. Um, you know, 5% is just growing like crazy. Um, there's over 200 people with 5% tattoos, and we're growing all over the world. Um, it's, it's crazy. And uh, I have fighters, bodybuilders, powerlifters, you know, all sorts of athletes, ex-football players. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be insane. And, uh, you know, we're going to come walking in the expo, you know, 30, 40 people walking in together. 5% is just going to be off the hook, and I can't wait. Uh, we're going to be having a little after get together Saturday night after the expo. Uh, we're going to be doing some tattoos. The promoter wouldn't let me have my tattoo guy tattoo people in the convention center. Um, that convention center actually has the biggest tattoo convention in the world. So it's not a problem with the building. It's just the promoter doesn't want anything to do with tattoos and, you know, the Olympia. You know, which I can sort of understand, you know, tattooing isn't really about health and fitness, you know, but, you know, pretty much there's so many competitors now with tattoos that I think it is kind of part of it, you know, and um, I think it would be interesting. I think it'd be kind of cool, you know, to walk by a booth and, you know, see a guy doing tattoos. It just kind of adds something, you know, extra, um, but it's not going to happen. So I'm going to have a party, a little get together so I can have my tattoo guy give tattoos away for free. So, uh, you know, it's going to be Saturday night after the expo. I'll let everyone know where it's going to be. And I'm also going to do a seminar. And uh, by the way, the tattoos are free. My seminar is going to be free. Uh, you know why? Because I just enjoy this shit. And, you know, I don't really need to make that little bit of money I'm going to make doing a seminar. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying straight up what it is. You know, I'm at the expo and they're selling my clothes. You know, I'm going to make money doing that. And I'm meeting my fans. And the get together is more just to get to know everybody. And, uh, you know, have a good time. And so that's what it's all about. Probably going to have drinks there. Um, and I might even have a little contest. I haven't decided yet. 
But if I do have a little contest, I'm gonna let people know in the next couple days, and it's gonna be different than you know your normal bodybuilding contest. I'm gonna spice it up, make it a little more fun, a little more interesting, and I'm gonna give away real prizes. You know, it's not gonna just be a little five dollar trophy, and I'm not gonna charge an entry fee. God damn it! I'm not gonna charge you guys. We're gonna come. We're gonna have a good time, and uh, you know it's not gonna be a huge production because you know it's basically I'm taking care of everything so it's not going to be a huge production but it's a start it's going to be fun i'm looking forward to it and you guys come to olympia you guys got to come stop by the booth all you five percenters you know come representing come hang out with the rest of the five percenters and it's going to be a good time and i can't fucking wait oh and on another note just to let everyone know people love knowing about what i'm doing as far as cycles and this and what i'm taking well fuck it i can tell you i got nothing to hide so I started my cycle about seven days ago, maybe eight days ago, and I was off for 10 weeks. And honestly, I was shooting for 12 weeks and I just couldn't fucking make it because I'm gonna be honest, you know, Olympia's coming up and I wanna be the best I can be and I'm not gonna be on stage. And much respect to athletes that are on stage, but I'm gonna be there meeting my fans and I wanna make sure I fucking, you know, I play the part, that I am the part, you know, that everything I talk about, I wanna, I want to represent that, so I'm going to be at my fucking best at the Olympia. I'm going to be large and in charge, and um, you know that cycle's just kicking in, and I can't fucking wait. So five percenters, come to the booth. We're going to have a fucking ball. Let's do this.